Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're feeling a bit orange. We've got an unboxing and um, hopefully you will enjoy this. Um, pretty please, please subscribe to my channel. We are so close to the 2k mark, you would not believe. Um, so yeah, I am feeling a little Hermes orange. It's it's not a bag, I'll say that, it's not a bag. But I thought I would unbox this with you. I'm a mixture of excited, mainly excited, um, and also a little nervous. I did have a peek earlier, but I will show you now how far I got in my peeking. It wasn't very far, right. I got as far as this, got too excited and then wanted to wait to show you guys. So. I got that far. That's as far as I got. So, unbox it. This came through the post today. There wasn't outer packaging as well, but I removed that and bin that. With um, with the coronavirus, I think everyone's taking their own approaches to receiving parcels. My approach is to dispose of the outer packaging immediately. I keep basically I have a dirty hand and a clean hand. So I basically I'll start off with clean hands, and then the hand that's going to remain potentially uninfected, holds the scissors. The left hand holds the packaging of what's just arrived. I cut it with my right hand, keeping that not touching the packaging, enough to open it, and then this hand does not touch the contents inside, it only touches the packaging. And then the good thing I take out, place somewhere that I know is clean, and then instantly dispose of the outer packaging, then wash my hands, then I can touch the inner packaging. That's the routine. I know everyone's got their own thing. Some people are just leaving stuff for a minute, like 72 hours. Some people are disinfecting it. I just open and bin. No delay. I get the goods um, and I stay safe. Anyway, that's that. I'm sure you all really wanted to know that. So, here we have, I got this far. And I wasn't, ex I don't know why, I wasn't expecting this fantastic orange box. Which is probably a bit stupid of me, but anyway. Um, I think when you're shopping online for Hermes, it is different to going in store. Obviously, I miss my essay. Miss you. He won't be watching. Anyway. So, here we have. There is the receipt, I'm assuming. It's actually being sealed. Let's open that. I'm trying to do it nicely but quickly. But I may want to tell you the details, so. So that's about, yes, yeah, so it's got, it is the receipt and it's also got about the exchange details. So I'll read that to you in a second. I'll just show you, I, want you, I don't want you to know what it's going to show you. Um, so then that brings us to this stage. And I'm filming in completely, I've got no ring light, completely natural light because I really wanted, I wanted to do my best for these colours to come out properly, you see? Orange. <laughs> anyway, um, lockdown has got to me. Right, can I get this? No, I'm going to have to undo the ribbon first, right. Let's undo the ribbon. It's always the best bit, I don't know why, I love the ribbon. Just over there for now. See Miss Miss Birkin in the background. There's a reason for that. So we've got a little card here, which is really really cute. Um, saying we missed you. We've resumed our delivery service and hope to bring a smile to your face. Thank you for your patience. Ah. I'm not sure what they put on there. Oh, I think it looks like they put Rue Honor. Um. I'm going to do a separate video on all the Hermes lipsticks I've been collecting. Yes, the obsession is real. Um, but basically with each one I get one of these cards and with the exception of one, they've all drawn a little, see the little smiley face? They've all drawn a little smiley face um, individually as they've packed it and I just think that's so sweet. Anyway. 
Here's that. Here we go. Back to the good stuff. Sorry, it's been five minutes and I've not opened the box yet. Lid. We have tissue paper, people. Right. So I really don't know how this is going to come. I've not never ordered an item like this before. But I also thought it might be quite useful video to do. So, yay. Here it is in a little dust bag. Put the box there carefully. Here it is. Nice drawstring traditional dust bags. And I will say Hermes do the obviously do the best bags, I think. But they do they generally do the best dust bags. One, they're just beautiful and neutral, you know, don't worry about colour transfer or anything, but the thickness and the quality of them is just great. Oh, oh, this is good. So, here we have... Look how cute! So, it's just like a thick canvas. And then here... Can you see, yeah, you can see that there is the subtle Hermes branding and also you've got on the zip pull, one you've got the special Hermes shape zip, but two, can you see, so it also then says Hermes on the zip pull there. Hopefully, hopefully you could see that. So this, and I'll show you inside in a second, is the Belide, 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 I'm going to say Belide, um, the Belide Mini Mini model in the colour Orange Faux. So this is in the proper Hermes Orange. So basically it's, it doesn't say that it's this, but it's how I'm going to use it. It is like a little um, cosmetic case, in canvas, not leather, but I wanted something that was going to be squidgy and something that I wouldn't worry about any sort of like scratches obviously I don't want to catch it but um you know I haven't got to worry about other items pushing against it and scratching it so let's open it up and also I think with a greater flexibility it may hold more you've got that options and as I open it up inside it's got this beautiful orange line they did it other colours as well uh, and this is wipeable as well so I think that's really great and then yeah, 100% cotton. So you've got inside um, like the care label there, which is all branded. There we go. So as you can see, yes, it is the zip isn't that wide, but it's wider bit at the bottom. But um, it's got leather, gold leather trim there. I think it's super cute. I do. Um, don't know if isolation has got to me and I've just been like shopping crazy, but yeah, a little bit. But um, anyway, that's that. What I normally use in my handbags are one of two things. The um, mini pochette, which you can see is a very similar size. Very similar, but look at the greater width at the bottom of the Hermes one. Thinner at the top, but it's got greater at the bottom, but then a lot of my bags are fatter at the bottom. So it's very similar size to this. And the other item I often use is my Chanel cosmetic case. This isn't a mini O case, it's a, a I'm not sure what it's called, but isn't uh, maybe it's an O cosmetic case. They're not that widely available in the UK. But anyway, um, I often use that, and again, you can see it's, very similar size. This is fatter all round, um, but obviously it is a bit more structured, a bit more um, restrictive maybe. I know, we'll see. So, I thought I'd show you that. And then whilst I've got you here, I thought I would take a few of my favourite items, we can find out together, and just see how they go in. So, typically, for me, I will have Blotting papers, so that's gone in. I will have, I've got my Kevin Alquin um, little contour 
that's it, so that can go in. I will have a perfume. I've actually got Hermes perfume in here, which is why it's in an orange Traveló. So that will go in. I will have a Charlotte Tilbury lip pencil. Somewhat short and stubby now because it's been used so much, but hey-ho. I think that's in Pillow Talk. I will have a mascara, again a miniature size. This is the Damn Girl Mascara um, by Too Faced. So that has gone in. See, we're still doing well. I will have typically a lip balm and I have my Chanel lip balm there. I will have eyeshadow there. And I will have my, um, at the moment I've been using a Chanel liquid lipstick. I mix it up. We have Hermes on here, which I have to say I'm really liking. I never saw myself as an orange lipstick person. So that goes in there. So yeah, you can see we are, we are filling up, but it does up without a problem. There's a bit more room at the bottom, so I could probably pack it a lot better. Um, so yeah, that is that. Um, I may also put in hand cream. That will go in. Um, and maybe even my hand sanitizer, which I always use these small ones, and I always have one with me, not because of the coronavirus, whenever I'm traveling because I'm on public transport a lot, um, I always have that with me because, you know, just for general germs, I mean, you know, God knows what lives in those things, like on the tube and whatnot. So yeah, so that also fits in. So I think it takes a fair amount, actually. Um, I would say it's pretty comparable to the mini pochette, maybe even a bit more. Um, I wanted to, could I get my new, which I've been loving, my By Terry um, CC, Brightening CC palette. That go? Yes, that would go in and it would zip up with that in. Um, it just does, obviously any, when you put bigger items in anything like this, it does um, change what you can go in. But if I were, let's put in, let's put in my palette. Um, a retractable makeup brush because that would go with it. And I'm going to push push it. I'm going to put it in and then push it to an end. And then perfume, lipstick, pencil, eyeshadow. lip products there actually. Will that go? Eek. Okay, so maybe if I play back with it a bit more, it doesn't quite zip all the way, um, but almost. Like there's a little bit of room there at the bottom. So I still think that's fairly good. Um, like I say, this is the smallest one that they do. They do do one size big. I'm just going to take the palette out. And if I take the palette out, then that means I can get my... Um, hand sanitizer, blotting paper and contour in. And my hand cream. We're gonna get the hand cream in, we are. Yeah. So, oops, fluff on it already. So yeah, so that goes there. So like I said, this is the 
smallest size. They do um, um, so the mini mini. They do a mini and a small and a medium. I think there's a few sizes. I'll put a link to the Hermes um, website um, below where they are. But like I say, I just thought that was super, super cute. And I will show you what that looks like in my backing because I just thought I've got a little I say I've got I've got a pile of Hermes stuff waiting for me in my store in my local store. Obviously I can't get there yet. So I'm trying to tide myself over. <laughs> um, but also the things that I like and that I think are useful. So here it is against my beautiful Birkin with my orange charm and you can see how well they match there. And then this is the, like I said, the, the Birkin 30 and you can see how that goes in. Super, super cute. Um, and you can see how much room remains in the bag so it's not taking up too much room at all so loving that um, and that was all I thought I'd share with you really so let me know if you have any comments or questions and um, I will see you soon for another video take care and stay safe goodbye